I praise and thank God for this beautiful time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For our morning meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 23 and 24. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Yesterday we meditated how a person who is wise in his heart takes the right and sensible decision in his life and is called prudent by heaven. Here as a continuation to it, the word of God says, wise in heart will instruct his mouth. Wise in heart here refers to the person who has the fear of the Lord and walks in the path that the Lord shows him. And as he grows in his spiritual life, or as he grows closer to the Lord in his life, the words that come out from his mouth will reflect the wisdom which he has gathered in his heart. And even that knowledge and understanding adds learning to his lips. Even in this world, we know that the words of a young man and the words of an elderly person will reflect a great difference. The young man will have many things to share out of his knowledge, which he has gathered through learning. But on the other hand, an elderly person who has faced many experiences in his life can share many things that he has collected in his life's journey. Though they may not seem to be attractive and knowledgeable outwardly, but they are filled with the truth and facts of this life. It is the same in our spiritual life also. As the wise in heart who has gained true knowledge from the word of God will reflect that in his words. His words will have that maturity as he has tasted the words of God amid life's storms. During the starting of our spiritual journey, we all are very excited and we try to encourage others through our words. And it seems that we are the perfect ones, full of faith, and we will finish our race within a short time. Look at the children of Israel who were standing on the shore of the Red Sea before the Lord divided it. They were murmuring against the Lord and His servant Moses. But once they crossed it, they were singing and praising the Lord with a loud voice. But after a few days, again, they forgot all the miracles that they had experienced and were murmuring for water. But look at the words of Moses, the one who has learned many things through the experience that God has given him in his life. He was so mature in dealing with all these situations. His words encouraged the children of Israel to look towards the Lord in each situation. Likewise, we may be full of energy or in others' words, we can say, filled with emotions at the starting of our spiritual journey. But as we face life's reality with all its challenges, we gradually become mature. Our spiritual growth will be reflected in the words that come from our mouth. Earlier, our words were filled with excitement. But now the words we utter are the ones that are seasoned with life's experiences and strength that we have gained from the precious Word of God. And these words are like honeycomb that is sweet to the soul and that strengthens the bones. Remember, it is not the words of our wisdom, but it is the Word of God that has been our strength in the difficult times of our life. The Word of God which has been the medicine for our weakness in our spiritual life. The Word of God that corrected us and helped us to grow to the maturity of Christ. The Word of God that has been a lamp to our feet when we were walking through the valley of death. It has been sweet to our soul and has strengthened our body so that we are able to run towards the goal that the Lord has set before us. The words of worldly wisdom tries to encourage and motivate a person to stand up against the challenges that he faces in his life. But the strength of that encouragement remains for a short while and the person feels the same emptiness after some time. But the word of God is the true pleasant word that can satisfy and strengthen our weary soul and spirit. We know how King David wrote in his Psalms that the word of God is much sweeter than honey. 
Let us not think that the words of God will always be sweet, comforting us. The word of God will exhort, chasten and reveal the things which we may not seem pleasant to us sometimes. But we know that they are the true words of our Heavenly Father, which is very much necessary for our soul and spirit. And so let us be wise in heart and learn from the word of God and walk in the right path that the Lord has kept before us. Let us feed our soul with the word of God daily. And may the Lord help each one of us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time and your precious word. Thank you for the experiences that you are giving us so that we may become more mature. We may be wise in our heart and reveal that wisdom through our mouth. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us. Help us to grow. Help us to know you more. Help us to be strongly rooted in our faith so that when we face challenges, we reach the standard that you expect from us. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.